Hey party people, it's me Jenna and I'm back to share with you some more tips and tricks for growing your event planning business. The venue walkthrough is such an important part of the event planning process and it is a huge deliverable that I tell my clients is a really big reason why they hire a planner in the first place. I'm there to walk through every square inch of the space with them, plan out what's going to go where, what does the venue have that we can use, and what are the rules and regulations that we need to follow in order to be good guests and good clients of this venue. I have kind of a unique perspective because I've been on both the event planner side of things and I've also been the venue manager. When it comes to asking the right questions, these are what I'm thinking about. So here are my top five questions to ask on your next venue walkthrough. The first question I always ask when I'm on a venue walkthrough is what are the load in and load out procedures? Load in especially can be such a source of frustration on the day of an event and the last thing you want is a big build up at the door when people are just trying to get in and vendors are trying to set up their things. Always take the timing that they give you very seriously. Make sure you write out a detailed timeline just for load in and load out and really, really be careful to make sure that all of your vendors know exactly how and when they can get into the building. It's also important that you let them know things like whether or not there's an elevator, if they'll be going up and down the stairs, if there's parking available, etc. Trust me, I've had a catering van towed from a loading zone before, before we even had a chance to unload it. Not a fun time. The second question that I always love to ask is, what does the venue have that we can play with or customize? Every venue is unique and some come with tons of equipment and cool things that you can use at your disposal and some are just a blank canvas that you're going to have to use your imagination for. As a person who's been on the venue management side myself, I especially love to be able to recommend certain things that are unique to my venues that I've seen done in the past that I can pass on to new clients and it really, really gets them excited. If I'm working with a client that wants to, let's say, have their wedding at a theater, I would ask if we're allowed to put their names on the marquee, if there are chalkboards that we can hire an artist to come in and customize. Sometimes a venue has really amazing lighting and sound equipment that you can play with and give certain hex codes for just the perfect color. It's really up to you and your imagination how far you can go, but the venue manager is gonna be a great source of advice on what other clients have done in the past that they thought was really cool. An example of this would be one time I threw a very large event at a really big old factory. In this factory, they had this amazing giant freight elevator that could fit about 60 people in it. We wanted to activate that as a space in the venue, so we hung up a chandelier and we put a satellite bar in there, and sure enough, it was the talk of the party but I never would have been able to do that if I hadn't worked closely with the venue manager. So that brings me to my next question of what I love to ask a venue manager. What would you recommend? The venue manager is the most familiar and the closest with the space. They're gonna have the best recommendations. They've seen it all done in the past. They've seen all types of events happen in their space and they're gonna really be a great source of information for you. On top of that, they'll likely have a preferred vendor list that they use that you should definitely take into consideration if your client is up for it. These vendors have proven that they work well with the venue and their clients, so why not give them a shot? At this point in the venue walkthrough, I might ask for some photos of past events. I would love to see how other people have activated the space, and I would love to be able to show that to my client as well. What's not allowed in space? Before you go making promises to your client on what you can bring and what you can have and do, it's really important to get this information from the venue manager so that you're not gonna have to go back and break a promise that you've made to your hopeful client. Things like glitter and confetti cannons and vaping indoors and open flames, those are really things that you should consider asking before you tell your client that that's allowed. Before you line up the wedding party for a sparkler send-off, make sure that your venue manager is okay with that. You don't want to end up on the non-preferred vendor list. 
Is this building or space ADA compliant? Will guests with a disability or a mobility issue be able to get in and maneuver around and be able to access all of the spaces? That's very important to me and I know that's very important to my clients as well. As we know, the venue walkthrough is such an important part of the event planning process. And again, it's your best way to get as much information on the spot as you possibly can while you have the audience of both your client and the venue manager. And I hope these questions will be a helpful addition to your list. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jenna, I'll be back with more tips and tricks. And until then, party on.